Very good, my friends. In today's video, we are going to modify the VR Fortnite NEV to make it work with rechargeable batteries because this one spends for batteries and this is a waste of money and not very friendly for the planet. Okay, the first thing I have to do is to check if it works with three volts or six volts. My guess is six volts, but let's see. Okay, it works with six poles because here this plate is connected and then come back to here. So we have the negative here and the positive here. Okay, let's do a first test with six volts and let's see if it works. I want to see how much it consumes. Okay, six volts. Let's disconnect and connect the positive and the negative in the right position. Okay. Negative, positive, I need a probe or something. Okay, negative, positive, and the moment of the truth. Okay, let's turn on the power supply and let's test it. Nothing blow. Okay, it looks like it's working, it's making noise. Perfect. Now I want to see the consumption. Okay, 1.6 maximum when it's working, working condition, 0.41 and let's see when we shoot. So between 0.7 and 0.4 when there is no load. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to install a battery holder for 18,650 batteries. The thing I want to do is to solder the cables there. So I'm going to make a hole there so the salt will be easier to salt. Okay, there we go. This ba these batteries are 3.7 volts and we need 6 volts so we cannot connect directly this battery to the weapon. So we are going to use this converter to convert the 3.7 volts to 6 volts. This is the MT3608. The first thing we need to do is to solder together these pins here. Okay, now they are together and let's tune it for six volts. Okay, the voltage in is going to be the battery. I'm going to I'm going to solder a battery holder to the V in of this component. Good. Now we can connect the battery and check the output. Whoa, 13 volts. We need to adjust. We need to use a screwdriver there to adjust the voltage. There we have six volts. Okay, let's solder now a couple of cables to the output. Okay, let's try to test it. Let's see the moment of the truth. Looks like it works. 
we need the ammunition let's see perfect and now that we have seen that it works we are going to use some hot glue to maintain the things in position Okay, let's see if it works. I hope this video has been useful for you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, thank you for watching and see you in next video.